Hello everyone and welcome to Age of Empires 2. Today I'm doing a tier list on all the unique castle units from all the civilizations in Age of Empires 2. Uh, we got an eager warrior here, he shouldn't be here so we'll get rid of him. Alright, so got a tier list when we're doing it through Age of Empires 2. So we got S, A, B, C, D, E and F and I'm going to be ranking them entirely based on the most important attribute that any unique unit can have, and that is looks. So, this game is really loud. Um, cool. Alright, so we're going to start off with the obvious top tier, Teutonic Knight. Um, this guy looks cool. He's uh, the kind of unit you'd pick just purely on looks. Um, he's, he's a cool looking unit, he's got a nice cape, and... I like the way he poses, so that alone, he's going into S tier. Alright, so we're going to start the list from here, and we're going to compare everyone as Teutonic Knight as our baseline for the best. So naturally, we're starting off with the Arambi. This unit is probably the most unremarkable unique unit, and could easily be just a normal Cav Archer unit. And nothing really interesting goes on with it, so I'm going to put him into, or her, into F tier, because I can't quite tell with this one. Um, next up we've got the Blister Elephant. As an Elephant unit it gets kind of like a plus for me. Um, looks kind of cool. And it's like a Siege Elephant unit, which is a Siege, is a Siege Elephant, it's kind of cool, so... Goes into A tier for me. Next up we have the Berserk. This guy also has a cape, although not as impressive as the Teutonic Knight. Uh, he's got a cool looking shield. Uh, so I'm going to put him into A tier with the Elephant. Next up we have the Elite Boyar. This one's uh, an interesting case, it's kind of like a heavy cav unit, not unlike the Cataphrac. Uh, but for me it's not my favourite, I think it looks cool but it's not the best, so I'm going to put it into A tier as well. Next up we have the Camel Archer. This is effectively just another cav archer type unit, although a little bit more interesting than the Rambai. So I'm going to put it into F tier for now. Alright, next up we have the Cataphract. This is probably the coolest looking heavy cav unit in the game. Um, this looks really cool. So I'm going to put it into S tier with Teutonic Knight. Next up is the Centurion, also as a cape, not unlike the Teutonic Knight. Um, although not as much is going on as, as the Cataphract, so kind of got to give it a bit of a knock, so I'm going to put it into A tier alongside the Boyar. Next up is the Chakram Thrower. This guy has two very sharp, effectively, um, I call them Frisbees, but they're Chakrams, and he's a bit different. Uh, I think he looks kind of cool because he, got, he kind of dual wields them. Um, don't know where he keeps his spares, but he looks kind of cool. But yeah, so I'm going to put him into, into B tier for now. Alright, Chu Canoe. Pretty generic looking kind of like crossbow unit, aside from the fact that it's got a fast shooting crossbow. Not that remarkable. It's a very normal looking unit, but actually a little bit, probably a little bit too normal. And I wouldn't put him into C tier because he's normal, because that's kind of like the middle. I kind of want to put him into D tier for now. Alright, next up we have the Conquistador, the only mounted gunpowder unit in the game. Um, this guy looks kind of cool. I think he's a solid, we'll go a solid B or C. It's very normal, but I'll put him into B for now. Alright, the Elite Coustier. Coustier? Um, he's got a big, big like, spear sword thing. Looks kind of cool. Uh, but I, I wouldn't say he's as cool looking as any of these guys. I think he's a C or a B, we'll put him into C for now. Alright, the only definitely female um, unique unit in the game. Uh, I think it's also the only female military unit, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Um, Beto is one of my, one of the interesting ones. I don't like how that it sounds like a villager. That's kind of like a special individual gripe that I have. Looks really interesting, so... I think it's a B. I think it's a B because it's kind of unique. 
It's like the most unique out of the unique units. All right, Genoese crossbow. Also another crossbow unit. But it does have like a unique position for the shield. Like it carries a shield and then places the ground, which is kind of like different. Not a lot of units do stuff like that. Uh, I think it's a B. Alright, next up is the Ghoulam. This kind of looks like a spearman with a shield. Um, fairly unremarkable. Nothing wrong with it, looks nice. Put in a C. Next we have the Huskarl, everyone's favourite goth spam unit. Um, this guy looks really cool. I like the design of his armour. Uh, I think it's a B or an A. I'm going to put it into B for now. Um, he may move up. Alright, Elite Hussite Wagon. Probably one of the most... It's weird because it kind of, it's kind of like... It looks the same no matter which direction it's facing. You know, kind of. Um, it's like a tank, I guess. It's, kind of, it's very different. I like it for that. Uh, it's a gunpowder unit. But very kind of plain. So I'm going to put him into D or E. Thinking, thinking D. Yeah, D for now. Alright, we have the Elite Jaguar Warrior. This guy also kind of technically has a cape, although it's a dead Jaguar. Cool looking shield. Cool looking, like, spiky club. Uh, I think... I think A tier. I think I think the American sieves are kind of like at least... At least A. On a bad day, maybe a B. Alright, we've got the Janissary. Uh, kind of the original... Gunpowder castle unit. Um, this is the. Uh, I still say this is, it's like a very normal looking unit. A lot of the gunpowder units look very unremarkable. I think based on looks, it's a D. All right. Next up, we have the Kamiok. This is, I think, one of the better looking unique units, especially for the American sieves. Um, looks really cool. I like the style, it's just like the way he looks, I like how he's, um, his headdress, I think it's really cool, and just a different unit, or a, effectively similar to a spearline unit, looks really nice, so I'm going to put it into S tier, yeah, I think S tier, it's one of the nicer looking units, Grambit Warrior, now this guy, I get confused with uh, Shotel Warriors because of the the dual wield aspect, and from a distance, it kind of looks similar to a Yurumi Swordsman. So, it's a very kind of like not a lot going on with this guy aside from the cool dual wielding. So, because he's dual wielding, he's going to go to D for dual wielding. Um, Keshik. <clears throat> this is a very nice, stylish, heavy cav unit. Um, almost as nice as the Cataphrag. I think it should go into A tier. Alright, next up is the Kipchak. This is a nice uh, kind of cav archer unit. Uh, shoots three arrows. Slightly nicer than what I would say a cav archer is. Uh, that horse is going nuts. I'm going to put him into say D or C. We'll put him to C for now. Yeah, I like the Kipchak. Alright, next up we've got the Conic slash Dismounted Conic. These guys are going to go as one because they are the same unit. Uh, this man iconic is obviously when the horse and this guy dies, he gets up off the ground and fights on. It's one of my favourite unique units in the game, uh, although that's not going to change the way I vote it based on looks. I think it's a B tier. Yeah, that's purely because I like the flail. Alright, next up we got the Latus, another heavy cav unit. A lot of, a lot of heavy cav unique units. Um, this guy's got his own little cape, shield emblem for the same, I think the same one that the Lithuanians have. Um, it's a nice unit. I think it's at least a B, maybe a C, we'll put C, not a, not C, A, I think it's an A, <laughs> definitely not a C. Next up is the Elite Longbowman. This, much like the Teutonic Knight, was picked based on looks. It also, just like the Shining Light, looked very good during the HD days. Um, so I think it's at least an A. Maybe an A for Archer or an S. I think S. I used to pick a base on looks. Pick Britain's base on that 
the way that guy looked. Nagia Hussar. Uh, the original Winged Hussar, pretty much, like before the Winged Hussar was a thing. Uh, also got the Nagia logo, our uh, logo, emblem, uh, on this shield. I think the Nagia Hussar. Let's go in 8 into S tier. Alright, Elite Mameluke. This is another unit I don't like the sounds of. Uh, it sounds like a foot soldier, but is a mounted unit. I've always, I've always liked the horse sounds and the camel sounds more than the people talking. So, that's annoying, but it's not going to really affect the way I vote him. I think it's a D, because while it's a cool camel unit that throws scimitars, it's not all that interesting to look at. Elite, Elite Mengidai. This is probably the coolest archer, the cav archer you get in the game. Uh, these look great in mass, these look great in their own. Uh, guess they're going to S tier. Another unit to pick based on looks. Um, Overlook. This is a fairly new unit, I guess. Um, it's a nice enough unit. It's it looks nice, but. Nothing too crazy. I think it's a seed here. Alright, next up we have the organ gun. Got seven, seven guns on him. Seven mini cannons. The guy pushing a, effectively a gun. Also, also much not unlike the other um, gunpowder units, he's very unremarkable, so I'm gonna put him into D. Alright, Elite Plumed Archer. Not unlike the Italian. Uh, Genoese crossbow, he also has a unique place to put his arrows. Um, and I think he's one of the better looking units in the game. Which isn't a surprise because it's American Civ. A tier. Alright, next up is the Ratha. The Ratha has the sword mode, which looks really silly because the sword's not going to reach over the horses. But then you got the archery mode, which looks a lot better. Uh, because it's the only chariot in the game, it looks it gets kind of brownie points for that. I'm going to put into B tier. Yeah, B tier. It would be A tier if it was a little bit more stylish. Next up is a Samurai. Yet another unit that was in HD that looked really good. And looks a lot better in D. Uh, samurai has to be at least an A. Maybe S. I think S tier. S for Samurai. Alright. The Sergeant. This guy is pretty normal, like, infantry unit. Looks alright. I could almost build the uh, dungeon. <laughs> um, I think C tier. Just looks too normal. Alright, Showtel Warrior. This guy also dual wields. Very cool looking unit, very fast. Um, I think he has to go into... Least B, maybe A? Yeah, A. Alright, the Tarkin. This guy's the only guy who uses fire to attack buildings. Um, so a bit more intelligent. Um, he's a cool looking unit. I like the fire, actually has an animation. Uh, although, bring back the Tarkin sound, please. I don't like how silent they are. <laughs> I think at least, like B tier. Alright, Elite Throwing Axeman. This guy looks alright. He's got a... Uh, he throws axes. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, but not a lot going on. I think... I think B or C. I think... Honestly C, because you don't see them a lot in the game. And I'm going to blame that on looks. Alright, next up we have... Uh, let's go... Rattan Archer, because I didn't see him. Very normal archer unit. Um, just like any other archer unit, really. Nothing really too crazy as far as looks concerned. I know it has special properties, but we're not here to discuss stats. What are we, nerds? Um, we're going to put him into C tier. Alright. The room is swordsman with the sword that makes me very uncomfortable because it's, uh, it moves around. I don't like that. Um, very, like, normal looking, but a little bit interesting because of the sword. As much as I don't like the way the sword looks, a bit more interesting. I think maybe C or B. We're in B for now. Actually, I think C. 
No, just because there's not a lot going on. Elite War Elephant. I used to play against Persians so I could convert these guys. Um, look cool. They've always looked cool. It looks so much better now in the with the modern style they got. So I think S tier. Clearly, clearly and very obvious. All right, Elite War Wagon. Um, an interesting unit. It's got like sparks in the wheels, but it's effectively just a cav archer unit. Um, it shoots kind of like projectiles, not like cav archer, and I think statistically it's similar. I don't know. Um, again, we're not looking at stats. Uh, I think it looks very normal, but also a bit different. But I think I think C. I think it has to be C. Copy. And lucky last, we have the Woad Raider. This guy looks really cool. He's fast. He's pretty, pretty stylish with his striped pants. Um, and like, just looks like a pretty cool looking unit. Uh, I think A or B? I'll go B. You go B. And while these guys are making their way up the tier list, we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna go through the tier list and talk about every single one of them and just double check that we're happy with them. So in S tier we have Teutonic Knight, Cataphract, Kamiok, Longbowman, Magyar Mangidai, Samurai, Elite War Elephant as it's still making its way there. Uh, A tier we have the Blister Elephant, Berserk, Boya, Centurion, Jaguar Warrior, Keshik, Latus, Plumed Archer, and Shotel Warrior. In B tier, we have the Chakram Thrower, Conquistador, Genoese Crossbow, Gabetto, Huskal, Conic slash Dismounted Conic, Ratha, Tarkin, and Road Raider. In C, we have Custier, Ghulam, Kipchak, Obuk, Sergeant, Throwing Axeman, Rattan Archer, Urumi Swordsman, and War Wagon. In D tier, we have Chukanu. Hussite Wagon, Janissary, Karambit Warrior, Mameluke, and Organ Gun. In E tier we have the Camel Archer, in F tier we have the Arambi. That's my tier list. Um, I would take it absolutely very seriously because it is the most superficial tier list you'll find Age of Empires 2. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and if you're new here consider subscribing. Other than that, have a great day.